Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than my usual content. I will be showing you a makeup routine and it's not just my makeup routine that I do for my videos for example. This is a more natural makeup look that I will do if I'm going to work in a cafe, if I'm going for a quick hangout with my friends. If you have a face shape like mine, I'm sure my routine will help you a lot. I will also show you this amazing lip combo if you have my skin tone especially which works wonders. So far I have just washed my face and I've put on my skincare, I've put on the sunscreen i cannot find my more professional looking band so this is what we're gonna have to work with first i prep my skin with this rene primer next step is correcting because i have a lot of pigmentation and dark under eye circles it's from inside so i use the orange one first and then I conceal the orange part with the yellow one and it usually leaves me with no need for concealer. I usually use my finger so that I can build it up. I find it much better than using a brush. I just dab, dab, dab. I just dab it a little bit. And I have some pigmentation here. I just go in with the yellow and orange because I don't really know what the other colors are for. So if you know, let me know and I will update my routine as well. Okay, the next thing I do is a little bit different. I have a really dry skin. If I put foundation directly, my face sort of looks, the foundation looks broken. But it looks very patchy. So what I do is I take this highlighter. This is a moisturizer plus highlighter. It's from Lacme. It's called Lacme Lumi Cream Moisturizer with Highlighter. And I just take a pea-sized drop of it, so this much. And then I go in with my foundation on top of it. I don't just put on my foundation directly and I take like a little bit of this. Okay, that's it. Let me show you how much. This is the amount I take. And then I just mix it with my hands until it looks this really cute glowy foundation. And then I just go in with my hands. Yes, I will do the finishing with the brush, but I will not apply it with the blush. And if you can see, my face is more tanned than my body because it was winter so far. So there's a lot of difference between my neck and my face. So I will put most of the foundation here and I will leave my neck. Like I'll just put a little bit here just to blend it out. And then I just go in with my hands like I will do with the regular cream. And I feel like this gives me a much more natural look than I would get with a brush. And I just like to just dab the product in my skin, anything that's left on my fingers. One, the highlighter gives you a little bit of glow throughout your face and it does not overpower it. And second, if you have dry skin, you should try this out. I also tried this with Vaseline that also gave me a really smooth base. But I saw some comments somewhere that said that Vaseline clogs your pores and it's really bad for your skin in the long run. Which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but maybe with foundation mixed, that's possible. So anyway... I just go in with the highlighter and that is my foundation. I do not apply concealer. And if I absolutely have to, I will use this instead of a normal concealer because I don't know man, I'm just really bad with concealers. Especially if I'm going for a more natural look, I would prefer to not have a very bright under eye. Like I like it to be natural, not really bright. Unless I'm doing a video, then I will just go for a bright under eye and a proper concealer. You need to see my hands after I'm done. With the concealer, always dab it instead of just moving it around. Otherwise, you know, it just doesn't settle on your face and you'll just move it around everywhere. You can also go in here. Next, we have our blush and contour. So this is where the difference comes. Because I have a fuller face, a rounder face, a heart-shaped face, I really don't know. But because of that, if I put my blush here, my face looks much bigger than it is. So what I do is I put, I use bronzer as contour and I will just put the contour here, like just to make my face look like this. And then I put the blush beneath the contour. I wasn't sure that if that was the right thing to do until I did it and it was like, okay, now my face looks much better. So let me show you. If you have a face shape like mine, please, you need to try that. And the bronzer I use is from, let me show you from Rare Beauty and the shade is um, it's always sunny now even if I don't have a really big forehead I have actually a small forehead I would say but I still like to put the contour here just to put a little bit of color on my face otherwise my face looks really 
pale and of course for the jawline this is the part where I start using the brush and always put like try to stroke it upwards instead of downwards because you don't want your face to come down you want it to lift up this is actually a foundation brush but I like to use it for contour I feel like I have a lot more control with this do you see you can start seeing there's a jawline there and for this, like for here, we were pushing it upwards. Here, I'll push it downwards just to give it a depth and make it look like there is a line here. Just to give it a shadow, basically. There you go. Next up, we have blush. So I have a few different blushes. The first blush I have is this from Sugar. It is a powder blush. It's called Coral Climax. This is the shade. And I will use powder blush only if I'm in an extreme hurry because I just need to prefer and I'm done. Otherwise, I will not prefer it for dry skin, I guess. The other one is this from Swiss Beauty. It is a cream blush. It's Buffed with rose, shade 6, and this is what it looks like. This is pretty good, it's handy, and I will carry it if I need to, like, reapply my blush. And the one I generally use these days is this from Rare Beauty. It is in the shade Hope, and this is super pigmented. I just apply it once, and I it usually lasts the entire day. The one thing is, I would say, is that initially people might put on too much, but don't do that because this is really pigmented. So this is where the trick comes. I just, I like to... Get some off and then here was my contour and i will put the blush here not here not my cheekbones otherwise my face just looks huge and then i will go in with my blush and i'll just stroke it upwards like literally i'm doing this action i'll put some on my forehead just for a little bit of color i will go in do you see how pigmented this is? Just this much of it is enough for your entire face. I've been guilty of looking like a clown a lot of times while putting on this blush. You see, my face is a bit more, um, it looks more symmetrical. It looks a bit like this instead of like this. If I put the blush here, my face would look like this, not like this. So for me, for my face shape, you need to try this. Just put the blush underneath the contour. To get this look and then we'll blend it blend it blend it and then i'm gonna just go in with my makeup spray because this is all i'm doing for my base i'll just shake it up i think i ate some of it i never really understood the importance of oh by the way this is from faces canada actually i think this is expired so don't be like me get a new one <laughs> but yeah i didn't really understand the importance of this until i put it on and i realized what a huge difference this makes and while this is drying i will do my lip combo now if you have my skin tone this lip combo looks gorgeous and usually i will just dab on a little bit of pink but these days i'm going full in because i usually don't even do my makeup if i'm just going out but since i am doing my makeup i would prefer to actually put some effort into my lipstick as well so that's what i'll show you i start with this lip liner i can't even figure out the brand name i don't know if you can see it it's something like davis honestly i can't figure it out and this is like brown and what i'll do is just don't go till here don't just line your entire lip that just sort of leaves you looking like overlined now again if that's the look you're going for go for it but that's just not the look i'm going for what I've recently been doing is using this entire thing, not just the tip, using the wider part so that it blends out even well. You see, I'm not going till here, I'm just going till here. Okay. After I've lined my lips with brown or any neutral shade, I will go in with this liquid lipstick from Color Bar. It is in the shade 007 Latte. Anyway, I'll just take a little bit of it. Again, I don't completely paint my lips with this either because we're going in with another shade, so I'll just put some off here. Hold on, we are not done still. After this, what I do is I will go in with red. Let me show you. After that, I will take this from Sugar. I've been using this so much that it's sort of the print has come out, but it is 35 Claire Redfield. It's a crayon lipstick and I haven't even sharpened it. What I do is I use this brush. I have no idea what this is. Like I generally don't know what this is doing in my collection, but I will use it <laughs> for my lip liners. This is the shade and yes, I've used most of it. I'll just go in with this because I'm just lining on top of my previous liner with this. This is all I do. 
Also, if you know what this is for, please let me know because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And then you mix it. Trust me, just trust me, just do it. Do you see? That's so much better than before. And now I will go in with this lipstick from Nika. It's in the shade Let It Snooze. And I'll just use this here to give the effect of a fuller lip. And that's it. This is the shade. Just look at it. This is gorgeous. I love this shade so much. And if I'm heading out, I'll just dab it off a little bit. It gives that rosy touch. I don't really do anything to my eyebrows because as a brown girl, fortunately, I have some good brows. And I don't really know how to do my brows, honestly. I will just put some loose powder. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade light medium and because i have a dry skin i make sure not to put too much of it so i actually saw this hack in a tamcar video one of her vlogs actually and what she does is she'll just take some powder and before she puts it on her face which i used to do as well she'll just get some most of it out and then you'll go in with this and this is like thousand times better than i would just put it directly just dab it leave it for a while and then i'll take some more from it again i'll dab it out on my do you see the access? This is gonna go on my face. Imagine what I do to dry face. And I'll just go my... And I'll just also put some here on the side of my nose in here. And I'll just use the remaining powder from it. Also here I like to go like this in an arc so my face stays in the shape it already has. You don't know the power of makeup unless you've started looking like a different face shape after doing it. <laughs> and while I keep it on, I will just go with my eyelash curler and I'll just curl my lashes. Now again, if you just cannot see your lashes curled even after doing this for a thousand times, you are like me. And let me show you how I figured out to actually curl my lashes. Every time I used to use this eyelash curler and I would just go in like with all the strength I had, my lashes still wouldn't curl at all. So when you curl, don't just do this, do this. Just trust me, just do, don't poke your eye, of course. Don't pick your lashes out, but... And look at that. Do you see that? Look at this and look at that. Again, I'm going in and I'll just... I scare people off, honestly. <laughs> just look at that. See, they curl so well. On most days, I will just leave it at that. Oh, actually, I forgot one step. Before I curl my lashes, I have already, doesn't really matter. I will go in with this uh, highlighter from Sugar. I use this as an eyeshadow for... If I'm just heading out, I want a natural makeup, I'll just take some of it. Does this have a shade? Yes, it's in O2 Gold Glory. And I'll use my finger again and I'll take some and I just go in with this. This just gives such a subtle and beautiful natural look, especially because I'm not really putting on any eyeliner and I have hooded lids. So this just helps create a lot of space because it's a lighter color. So it just makes it look like I have bigger lids than I actually do. Go in with some highlighter and I'll just here this is all i do and after i've curled my lashes i will usually leave it at that so i don't do anything else after that let's first get rid of the powder also the reason i'm sweating so much is because i cannot turn on my fan otherwise it messes with the audio for the video so that's why i am in this really hot room and the door is closed so i'm dying but it's it's okay you guys are worth it Okay, so this is from Color Bar. It's a dual mascara. It's a zoom and whoosh mascara and it's in 001 Black Sin. So this is, I think this is for the length. So it is lighter. And there's the second brush and this is for volume because we haven't put anything on our lids at all if you're putting on liner i would say go for the lash length and the lighter mascara but because we haven't put anything at all i will go with the darker one i'll just get some off look at that if i just put it outwards if i put the mascara outwards it will make it look like i have the liner on and look at that i don't do anything to my lower lash although if you wanted to i would suggest go with the lighter one so you know what for the sake of this video let's just do it that looks like i have lined my lower lash and that's it that is my go-to look and i haven't brushed my hair but usually if i'm heading out i will <laughs> brush my hair and this is the final look now before I head out, what I'll usually do is I will take a tissue paper and I will just... I, I can't find the words. I'll just put it all on my face so any excess makeup can get off of it. It just leaves my face looking more put together. I'll just go in with this. 
and don't just don't swoosh it over your face at all just dab it i learned the hard way that swooshing makeup is really the worst thing you can do to it, it just makes your face look so bad <laughs> i don't have an oily skin but in summers my t-zone just gets so sweaty there's some excess makeup off and my skin still looks put together so that's why i would say you go in with this instead of with this this leaves my skin looking cracked especially after the powder so i just prefer going in with this if i'm heading out this is what i'll wear and i'll go and honestly the lipstick might be a little bit darker for some of you so in that case i really i'll have to remove it to show it to you right now one you can just lighten this see it already looks much more natural and second is i also like to use this this is from color bar again this is what it looks like and this is in the shade sin um and i would just give your makeup some time to set and before you're heading out before you have everything together this makeup will have blended down much more and it'll leave you with much more natural look and yeah this is the final look of course i'm not going anywhere so i'll change and get in my pajamas <laughs> All right, that is my natural go-to look. And if you like it, do like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you would like more videos like this. And I will get back to my self-help content from next week. And I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye. This is the look in natural sunlight. So I didn't use any ring light so you could get the actual look instead of the artificial made-up look and edited look. So this is literally what it looks like. And let me show you in the dark.